has forced a record number of people around the world to become internally displaced, forced to flee their homes, but still living in their home countries, often in refugee camps. As Henry Richwell reports, the figure has increased dramatically in the past five years. In recent months, thousands of people have arrived at the Bulengo camp for internally displaced people near Goma in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. They have fled fighting between the Congolese army and M23 rebel groups. Faida Bauma arrived with her four children. <laughs> Look at the conditions in which we live, Bauma says. When it rains here, we suffer. Look at where we sleep. When it rains, we have to fold our mattresses. We are going to die here, she says. People are even raped. Conflict and violence have driven the number of internally displaced people around the world to a new record, according to a new report from the Geneva-based Internal Displacement Monitoring Centre. Almost half live in sub-Saharan Africa. Nearly 76 million people globally were forced to flee their homes in 2023 and are living elsewhere in their own countries, many in camps or makeshift accommodation. That's an increase of almost 50% over the past five years. Ivana Hajmanova is a co-author of the report. Half of this figure uh, comes from just uh, five countries, including Sudan, Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, Colombia, uh, Yemen and uh, Syria. These countries are usually uh, not uh, visible in the media headlines. Sudan has the largest internally displaced population in the world at more than 9 million people. Most were forced to flee their homes after the latest civil conflict erupted in April 2023. Again, Ivana Hajmanova. Many of them have been uh, forced to move uh, multiple times. So we saw families moving uh, away from Khartoum, uh, going to the Darfur regions, moving all across the country. And uh, of course, we are very concerned about their uh, needs and their vulnerabilities, uh, because with each new displacement, uh, their resilience reduces. Some four out of every five Palestinians have been forced to flee their homes in the Gaza Strip because of the conflict between Israel and Hamas, according to the report's authors. With borders closed, most have nowhere safe to go. Ivana Hajmanova. Recent UN estimates point out to the fact that it will take around 80 years to uh, rebuild everything which had been destroyed uh, in the Gaza Strip. And this shows that uh, it might be that most of the people who are currently living in Gaza and who have been displaced won't see their houses rebuilt uh, during their lifetime. Close to 8 million internally displaced people were forced to flee because of natural disasters. The February 2023 earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria triggered 4.7 million displacements. Cyclone Freddy, which hit southern Africa in February and March last year, forced 1.4 million people to become displaced. Henry Ridgewell, v- President Yoweli Museveni arrived in the Kenyan capital of Nairobi on Wednesday for a three-day state visit. Museveni, who was greeted by Kenyan Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora Affairs, Musalia Mudavadi, is scheduled to engage in bilateral discussions with his Kenyan counterpart, President William Ruto, in Nairobi on Thursday. The visit follows the recently concluded second session of the Joint Ministerial Commission between Kenya and Uganda, during which seven memorandum of understanding were signed in the areas of public service management, education, SME development, sports, youth, trade and investments. During the GMC, both countries committed to ensuring expeditious and full implementation of decisions reached during the session of other bilateral meetings, said the Kenyan Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs.